Hi there, Artemis from the Quickly team. In this video, we will be going over fragments and how they work as a continuation of exploring the Quickly Thema. As a quick reminder, the Quickly Theme Builder provides a visual overview of the templates of your site. It also allows you to add global parts in order to add fragments, which are template parts added to a fragment that can be applied to any post, which you can set specific conditions for. Its main use is to ease and quicken your workflow when working with template parts, since you can contain different template parts while being able to directly edit and set conditions for them all from the Global Parts tab. For those who don't know, template parts are collections of blocks that can be used and reused throughout a website and placed anywhere, mainly used for headers and footers, as these are usually replicated throughout a website's different pages. This helps you not only have a better visual management of template parts, since you can essentially create folders containing different template parts but it also liberates your designing space on the editor, since instead of a mountain of template parts unnecessarily taking up room, you can add a small fragment block that takes up a fraction of the space. This will save a lot of headaches. The best thing is, it doesn't affect the markup, which is to say, it doesn't add any unnecessary code bloating your page. With this feature, you're also able to add global headers and footers or any other template part of your choice for your whole website, which will majorly speed up your workflow. Now let's see this feature together in action. Here we are in the WordPress dashboard. The Global Parts tab is accessible in the Quickly Thema, which can be found by a click in the WordPress admin menu on Quickly. As we saw in the Quickly Thema video, the Quickly Thema is structured into three tabs, Templates, Parts and Global Parts. If you'd like to know more about the Templates and Parts tabs, be sure to check out our previous Quickly Thema video where we go into more detail. Let's select the Global Parts tab. As you can see, we already have default global fragments for both a header and footer which is great to quickly add a global header or footer on the go. The way it works for global fragments is that you don't have to add a fragment to a template since you can set the conditions for where and when you want it to appear. As for the exact position, headers are automatically set at the top of your page and footers at the bottom of your page. On the right hand side, we can also notice the Create Template Part and Add Fragment buttons. The Create Template Part button is essentially a quick access button for you to add a template part without being redirected to the Editor's Template Parts section. It only lets you add a name. But don't worry, you can then edit its contents once it has been added to a fragment. The Add Fragment, as its name indicates, adds a fragment which will contain any template part added to it. We will start by adding a global header and footer to our website. Before we add our global header and footer, let's look at our front page template to make sure you see that we haven't applied a header or footer to it. This will better demonstrate how global footers and headers work. Since there are already the default fragments, we do not need to add a new one. Let's start with the header. We can select a plus symbol in order to add our header template part to it. Then, in the drop-down menu, we can select our header template part. As you can see, once added, you can edit, set conditions and remove a template part. I have already added a design to this header template part. So all we need to do is set up the conditions. To add a condition, we can simply select the eye icon and select the plus symbol. We want this header to show if all, which means that it will appear on every page. However, 
You can be as specific with your conditions as you like, or even have different global headers for different pages, posts or categories. It's up to you. Now let's see if it does work indeed. So let's select our front page by selecting the home icon in the top left hand corner. At the top of our page, our global header appears as expected. We can also see if it applies to our index by viewing a post since we have set it for every page. And once again, it appears as expected. Now let's head back to the Global Parts tab of the Quickly Themer to add our Global Footer template part. As with the header, we can select the Global Footer Fragments plus symbol to add a template part. In the drop-down menu, we can select Footer. Here, we can set the same conditions we had set for our Global Header which is to say, show if, all. Let's now see if it appears on our front page. Let's scroll down to the bottom. And there we go. Our global footer appears perfectly. Let's now see if it appears on a post. Once again, it does. As you can see, the Global Parts tab allows you to powerfully create global parts with all the necessary conditions, which provides you with maximum flexibility. You're also not limited in the number of global template parts you can add and require for complex and complete websites. Now, I will be demonstrating how you can add multiple template parts to a fragment and then add that same fragment to a page. We will be adding three different template parts with different conditions to show you their diversity and power. First, let's create a new fragment by selecting the Add Fragment button. We can give it a familiar name such as Octopus. Before we add our template parts, we need to create some. So let's add three template parts, which will be a header, footer and CTA. Before we set conditions, let's edit these template parts. We can start with header 2. For the purpose of keeping this video short and sweet, we will simply be adding a section containing an H1 heading so that later on we can recognize our different template parts. So let's add a section, give it a light red background color, and add an H1 heading and type header. We can save it and repeat the same process for our other template parts. We can finally add different conditions to this template parts. For the header, we want it to show if singular front page, 
which in English means show the template part if the page the user is currently on is the front page. For the footer, we wanted to show if singular posts all, which means to show the template part if the page the user is currently on is a post. For the CTA, we wanted to show if singular posts categories design, which means to show the template part if the page the user is currently on is a post in the design category. We can now select a post and add a fragment block. We can select the octopus fragment. Let's now look at the front end. We can only see our footer. This is normal since our header won't appear since this is not the front page and our CTA won't show either because this post isn't in the design category. However, if I put this post in the design category, our CTA will appear. Lastly, let's head to the Quickly Thema and select our front page template. Let's add our fragment to the top of the page. Once again, we can set the octopus fragment. Now let's save this template and have a look at our site's front page. And there it is. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding how global paths work. You can now probably see the benefits and advantages of working with fragments and global template paths, which will drastically help you improve your workflow. If you have any questions or doubts, please don't hesitate to let us know down below. See you next time. Bye.